What's wrong with the 757? What happened here? Today is the 20th of January, 2024. It's an extraordinarily cold day, and we're trying to get some answers. But we are coming up with none. Do we have a crew in this 757? What is happening here? This, they've been under tow and got stuck. I think there's somebody up there. It looks like somebody wearing a vest. Here's another look at our wayward, broken down that Boeing 757. That has caused a closure of runway 27 right. And so, on runway 27 left, we have departure. Here's another 757. I don't know where it's going. It is so cold, I can't even think straight. Let's try to enjoy the unusual sight of a departure off of the outboard. Ooh, yeah, wingless. It's not something you see every day. Good golly. Miss Molly, whatever the hell that be. Oh, God, it's cold. Thermometer to real life reconciliation for Saturday, January the 20th at 1.57 p.m. revealed. 30 degrees, but feels like 19. We're just thrilled to death it's using 27 left for its takeoff. My golly. Relatively short due to its domestic destination. But another rare occurrence indeed. A 27 left departure. Yeah. Look, don't mind that 7379. Oh, very good, Eva. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed, Eva. Very sweet. Sorry for the shakies. Oh, got to pick the tripod up. Into the beautiful blue sky. Winds all 330 at 19, gusting 23. You can see some exhaust coming out of this version. Now on short time, I also believe. I have spotted a wardrobe malfunction. It's gonna come across some dry branches. You can see her waving her wings and crabbing a bit. This is where the rubber meets the road, so to speak. <laughs> oh, birds looking so sharp in the winter daylight. Perfect landing, little bounce, but that's fine. That's fine. Just find it. Delta 151 Heavy to Lima, Peru is beginning its takeoff roll. Heading south of the border, south of the equator, and to presumably much warmer skies. How long it will roll, we don't know. Stay tuned and find out next. There was another aircraft that I thought wanted to race this one, that United Continental, but it doesn't look like it's going to. Look at that rudder Fairly short roll, another aircraft on final passing the tower, and oh, we did great on that one, didn't we? Delta 151, just having plenty of turns to Lima, Peru. Thermometer to real life reconciliation for 3 p.m. It's 31 degrees with a 19 degree wind chill. We do have a wind chill advisory from Saturday 7 p.m. till Sunday 10 a.m. It remains in effect. And all those words. Your real life looks a lot like this. And the best indication as to how cold it is is the ice puddle, the ice mud puddle, here in the middle of Mount Hartsfield. We seek shelter behind the backhoe. Oh, look at this. There's a bulldozer coming. And Tornado does not like that. <laughs> Look at that, you can even see dog breath. Dog breath, it's so cold. It's okay. Giant 8986 is a sperm wagon. It's a sperm wagon. The triple seven F is in me in the face. They brought us a sperm wagon or a white tail. 
as JetTip.net so lovingly calls it. Still using the relative shelter. Oh, look at that. That was a good one. I digress. Still using the relative shelter of this backhoe bulldozer. Look at that. That is something. Sperm white sperm wagon. Yes, indeed. 340 at 16 2 and the gun the 7893 liner. We do appreciate it. Like the link flex. It was the very first airliner with wing flex. 982 and 310 at 17 on Ash Law, runway 27 right, let's take off. Clear to go, RNF 27 right, on 982. Delay 21, Atlanta, Saragasta, runway 27 right, Lima Charlie, line up, boy, traffic downfield. 27 right, Lima Charlie, line up. Juliet Mike, the line of 7-3. Delta 982, contact Atlanta departure. See you when you get back. All right, Delta departure, have a good day, Delta 982. Delta 21, Winchester. Hello, tower, up to 2748 to depot for 27 left. Delta 2748, Atlanta, tower, good afternoon, Winchester, 20015, that's 20, runway 27 left, go to land. Clear to land, runway 27 left, Delta 2748. Tower, Southwest 1580, 27 left. Southwest 1580, Atlanta, tower, Winchester, 20017, runway 27 left, go to land. Clear to land, uh, 27 left, Southwest 1580. Tower, Delta 19. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to pre sunrise Sunday, January the 21st. It is still very cold, but there goes a spirit in the party gear. We got to get it while we can. You never know when that's going to be gone. The sun has yet to crest the horizon over here, and it is downright freezing, but it's not windy. So it's going to be a good morning here at the planet's busiest airport. Flagship, flagship, flagship on a Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's Delta 25 Heavy out of Cape Town, South Africa. Having been airborne for 15 hours and 42 minutes, this aircraft is about to touch down right before sunrise. Let's make sure it's in focus. A lot of traffic this morning already. It is, of course, the busiest airport in the world. Very nice, very nice. Passing our well-lit canopy, keep it in the box. Sorry. It's so cold, my tripod's having a hard time swiveling. Thermometer to real life reconciliation for 7.37 a.m. on Sunday, the 21st of January. It's 14 degrees, but feels like 6. Your real life looks like this. Look at all that steam coming out of whatever that is. Oop, first smoky startup of the morning. I knew we would be seeing smoky startups, and there is a classic example. So cold, the smoky startups should be very prevalent this morning. It is the dead of winter here, but at least we have this glowing orange fireball to provide us with some warmth. And it is that beautiful sun that makes everything front lit from up here. It's JetBlue Vacations, a quote unquote special livery. It's not that special. It's got that weird tail and it has some extra text. This vacations, isn't it? Just all inspiring. So there goes JetBlue, either back to JFK or back to Boston. It is entirely too cold for me to keep up with their origins and destinations. The best we can do is... Try, oh my god, 737. The best we can do is just try to capture it competently without shivering too much. I am very, very layered, and yet it is still extraordinarily cold. And there goes JetBlue into the morning sky. Check out our Mount Hartsfield ice patch. It's freaking Jesus. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this jam up. Because of a log jam on ramp two here, which seems to have finally 
come to an end, a lot of arrivals cannot get to their gates. All of the aircraft you see facing to the east or to the right are aircraft that have arrived and have been sitting there. Actually, these are too. These four A321s all trying to get to their gate. Here we have Delta 444 bound for Seattle, an A330-300 seemingly without engine spike. I should have put on my glove in my right hand. My fingers are now beginning to feel numb. Now our first outbound heavy jet of the morning. And it's a dandy domestic. Off to Seattle. A semi-hub for hometown airline in the Pacific Northwest. A semi-hub is what we call it. Similar to Boston. Boston's a semi-hub. It's not like the old hubs like Salt Lake City and Detroit, Minneapolis, and Atlanta. It's Cargo Lux! It's Cargo Lux! It's Cargo Lux! In the retro hot sh out of Chicago O'Hare, Cargo Lux 19 Sierra is on short file for runway 9 or right. We're just trying to keep our batteries, our battery together. I have deposited one battery in between my boxer shorts and my skin in an attempt to give it body heat. That way we can keep these batteries alive through this cold, cold morning. Nevertheless, look at Cargo Lux Retro in this beautiful morning light. Oh god, it doesn't get any better than this. It's got the black nose and the black under eye, sorry. It's so cold my camera or my tripod does not want to swivel it appropriately, so I have to pick it up. Manhandle it, sorry again. Oh god, yeah. Very good. Give the wide berth. Oh, delicious cargo lux. Hard enough to pick it is in pick your nose. <laughs> it's Delta 295 heavy. Off to Tokyo Haneda. Ding 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 ding. ding. Hi. Those are our Japanese ethnic sounds. I hope you don't find them offensive. They are meant to be complimentary. Let's catch up with Delta 295 Heavy. Make sure we escort it all the way down runway 9 or left. Surely in for a long roll. As it's got a long flight ahead of it. And there it goes, everyone. Delta 295 Heavy is off. Wonderful, wonderful service on behalf of the Canadians. Sorry for the shakies. Nothing really works quite right in this bitter cold. But the cold is something that the Canadians are well versed in. And as a result, they will be performing a top-notch landing and a top-notch taxi and a top-notch shutdown waving their wings to say hello we brought some canadian bacon it's a perfect breakfast on a cold morning air canada cargo is almost done for the day there they are spoil thrust reverse and all those things you do so well it lets out a mighty groan that we can't hear quite as good as we hear it from the South Terminal parking deck, which is right behind this aircraft, by the way, in case you weren't already aware. Hoping this A330-200 will execute an early rotation, a rapid rotation, since it is domestic, but I have my doubts. Perfect lighting as we pass what I presume to be the ILS antenna or some kind of ILS affiliated thing. Oh shit, I have another dead battery indicator. I can't keep batteries alive to save my life out here. I haven't spent 30 minutes in the car just warming things up. Ooh, smoky startup on an A320. Just cranked up number one and it whipped up. Nice. 
Delta 837 Heavy to Honolulu. Boy, are we envious of these folks, crew and passengers, and any stowaways that might have found a way into the gear wells. They are cleared and they're beginning a 10 hour jaunt to paradise. Warmer skies, much warmer skies. We're gonna go and do things the Hawaiian way with the alohas and the mahalos and the luau's and the poi and the spam and the living on island time never operating with a sense of urgency at all which is not good from a customer service perspective I found that out firsthand that you wait in a lot of lines at places like Target and the grocery store in Hawaii because everyone's taking it easy but I don't want to get off on a negative rant. Uh-oh, Tornado found what appears to be a coyote turd. Is that what that is? Oh dear, interesting. Well, I'll be a son of a whore. It is my new Aeromexican friend. That's right, Aeromexico or Aeromexico Connect has returned to Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. God. Such a mouthful. Coming out of, I think, like Guadalajara and Monterey. I don't know which origin this one comes from, but it's my first time catching it in this uh, in this new new service period. I've seen them before, obviously. I've caught sight of another spotter on the other hill. This is the old hill. Who might this be? Who might that be? I can't tell if I know that individual. The hill that I'm on is better than the hill that he's on. But it is nice to see other spotters up on these hills. Here. So a couple of 747s have occupied the South Cargo ramp today, which makes everybody very happy. There's a parallelogram that makes everybody very happy. Oh, yes. Oh, so really glorious. There's nothing like a 747, even if it is just a freighter. Air, sorry, you don't mean to cut its face off. Just about a textbook landing. This textbook as it gets. And now the helicopter wants a new course. He's at site work. Site work, and what would you like to do now? Just work our way for new cargo over to cargo two. Helicopter seven Sierra Charlie Roger proceed as requested. As requested seven Sierra Charlie, appreciate it. I don't know what kind of work this helicopter is doing, but it's directly over cargo looks. And my other partner spotter, the other hill spotter, is <laughs> that's pretty freaking cool. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Cargo Lux Retro 747-400 is now accelerating after going full length on runway 9 or left. We will also have some Aero Mexicans potentially try to race Cargo Lux Retro. Some Aero Mexicans out of Monterey. Cargo Lux, on the other hand, is bound for its home country of Luxembourg. And it looks wonderful doing it. Yay, look, see, I told you about those Aero Mexicans. They're right there. They're going to win briefly, but I believe Cargo Lux is going to even things out and accelerate beyond V1, rotating down there close to the Koreans. What a wonderful score. Hey, and there's the uh, my partner spotter, we'll call him. Oh my god, packing up to go, see an odd tri holeish looking contrailer. Is this a KC-10 maybe? It looked like an L-1011, no I think that's a KC-10. Maybe even one of those contractor air refueling aircraft. Wow. Wow. 
one last look at our KC something or other. I don't know. I can't take my eyes off of it. I'm going to have to check ADSB here and figure out what in the hell that is, because that sure is a sight. Man. I was right. It was an Omega tanker. Looky. Looky. That's what it was, and that's, that's where it is all the way over me. Wow, what a great score, man. Pick it! It's in pick your nose! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! It's a Air Canada Cargo is traditionally the rapidest rotator among the Southside Cargo Ramp Brigade. Let's see if they perform a rapid rotation on this Sunday. It'll happen any minute now. Any second now. I should be getting light in the nose wheel. Oh, Air Canada, you're disappointing me. There they go. That's not as impressive as I was hoping, but it's still Canadian cargo. 2479 on a lightest, I'm at the mic too, so take off. That's 2479, could take off and I left my two, I don't have lightest. I'm at the mic too, line up and wait, and uh, departure control is on 3347. 3347 is departure, and 9 left mic two, line up and wait till the 2605. Delta 2605, line up the grid, I'm at the mic too, click take off. Delta 22. 04 and at the grid, sound like the mic 2, clip take off. Hey, Delta 2204, unfortunately we got to clear the runway, we got somebody uh, standing up. So 2204, no problem. Um, cancel the takeoff clearance, you just want to hold there and get it all situated? Yeah, hopefully uh, just be a minute here, but uh, if you need to move, uh, we'll, we'll get off. Now we got time. All right. American 2344, contact departure today. American 2344, switching, thanks. Delta 573, RNAV to Grits, turn 9 left at Mike 2, clip to take off. RNAV to Grits, clip to take off, 9 left at Mike 2, Delta 573. Runner 3288, you're still released, turn 9 left at Mike 2, line up and wait. I'm a line up and wait, Runner 3288, thanks. Runner 3288, RNAV to Lightest, turn 9 left at Mike 2, clear for take off. RNAV to Lightest, runway 9 left, clear for take off, Runner 3288. Delta 2519, line up to RNAV, 9 left. Delta 1213, heavy, caution, wake, turbulence, find the heavy Airbus 330 that departed, RNAV to Grits. Runway 9 left at Mike 2, clear for takeoff. RNAV to Grits, 9 left, Mike 2, clear for takeoff. Delta 1213 heavy. Clear wing 600, Atlanta Sound, runway 9 left at Mike 2, line up and wait. Caution wake turbulence, find the heavy 76. All right, 9 left, Mike 2, line up and wait, spirit 600. Clear wing 600, RNAV to Lightest, runway 9 left at Mike 2, south of 204, RNAV to Lightest, runway 9 left, Mike 2, clear for takeoff. Clear takeoff, uh, 9 left, Mike 2, RNAV to Lightest, south of 204. South of 3222, Atlanta Sound, runway 9 left, Mike 2, line up and wait. Uh, boy, 9 left, Mike 2, south of 3222. South of 9 left, Mike 2, clear for takeoff. Arnav Grits, uh, clear takeoff, 9 left, southwest 3220. Never 5196, one hour, good morning.